Hi, my name is Steve Moak. I'm CEO and founder at ShareTech. You're watching this video because you probably just received your first DNA confirmed at home drug and alcohol test. I want to walk you through exactly what the collection process looks like. First, you'll receive a box or an individual package shipped directly to your front door. There is a QR code that comes directly in the box to assist with any collection instructions in the videos that you can be watching here today. All of our bags come in either white or black pouches. The white pouch is the initial test. All black pouches are all repeat tests. The only difference in these two packages is on your initial test, we have a one-time buckle swab, and I will share how exactly that process works. Our goal here at ShareTech is to bring dignity back to the drug and alcohol testing process. This entire test was built by people in long-term recovery. So let me walk you through what this looks like. You receive your first individual test or box. You simply unbox it. We always suggest maybe having another individual in the room while you're unboxing. We have had clients occasionally from time to time say they did not receive parts and packages. We have a quality control process in place that makes sure that doesn't happen. But this way we can just ensure that all the proper parts and pieces are there. From there, you're going to take out the initial white pouch. This white pouch is the very first test and you only have to do that one time, the very first time that you're ever engaged with the ShareTech DNA confirmed at home drug and alcohol testing process. So what does it look like? The first thing that you're gonna do is take this unique looking buckle swab. It does have a barcode on it. You're going to engage with your care team, loved one, mom, dad, husband, wife, clinician, case manager, whomever that is, and you want to do an observed buckle swab. What does that mean? It means that over video, you will take this unique looking buckle swab and on the inside of your cheek, for 15 to 30 seconds, swab a large area so that we can collect the DNA from inside your cheek. Now, the observer can be in person or it can be virtually. We just need to do this one time and one time only inside the cheek, swabbing the area for about 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna take that buckle swab and we're going to take this tamper resistant seal and we want the other observer to watch this. The reason why the observation process is important is because we will use this sample for all future identification. Now, we simply put the tamper resistant seal right around the top of the buckle swab and once that is observed, you are done with any observation as part of our drug and alcohol testing process. So, we will set that tube off to the side. The next step in the process is the actual collection process. And this is where our testing method is very different from any other testing method available on the market. What you're going to do is take the collection cup that comes as part of your package. It is the yellow lid cup. You'll see a see, you will see a seal on the top of that. You will peel that off. Now, you can take this collection cup from the privacy of your own home. No other person needs to observe this process in any way, shape, or form. You will go into the bathroom or privacy of your own home, and you will now fill the collection cup up about three quarters of the way full. Now, for demonstration purposes, I have brought our own liquid so that you'll be able to very easily see this. We are filling this up and putting this top back on and I'm sealing that tightly. Now the next step in the process is to take these, we call them vacutainer tubes. You'll notice that everything is barcoded. Everything that goes back to the lab is barcoded and it will have your name and information available to it, right? We do not have you write any of your own information in pencil or pen on any of these. So what we will do now is take these two vacutainers and you will simply insert it directly into the tube. Place the cup on a flat surface is our suggestion. Now you will push down 
and you'll notice this automatically fills up to the appropriate level. So there's no more pouring sample into tubes. It's very, very easy. As you can see, automatically fills up to the appropriate level. The next step in that process would be to take that vacutainer and put it in the specimen bag, right? So we don't want any leakage. But we do have you take both of the vacutainers and fill those up as well. Simply repeat the process. It automatically fills up to the appropriate level. No need to pour anything back and forth and risk spilling uh, part of the sample. Once that, and you'll see that it automatically seals as well too. Once that is done, now we're adding both of those vacutainers to our specimen bag. We're taking that one time observed buckle swab with the tamper resistant seal putting it into the specimen bag as well too. We are now sealing this bag. We are done with the urine collection. You can pour that out and discard of that into the trash. We take the prepaid UPS return labeled bag and we simply add the specimen bag directly to this. Now we'll seal that UPS bag, and now we take this to any of the 5,000 plus UPS locations across the country, take it inside to their office, and now drop that off. We then overnight this sample back to our lab. And once the lab receives this sample, we process the results within 48 to 72 hours. And that timer starts from once the lab receives its samples. But again, we pay a premium to overnight that sample back to the lab. The first thing that we do is we take the DNA from the buckle swab and the DNA from the urine sample, and we make sure that those match. So the only thing the DNA is used for is to confirm sample identity. We do no other testing using your DNA profile on this any way, shape, or form. It's simply to say that that observed buckle swab is matched to the DNA that came in from that urine sample. And if they don't, because we've had people attempt to manipulate, cheat, or evade this by using mom, dad, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, frozen clean urine, stored clean urine, uh, we've had male-female sample swap, we have seen it all and we flag those things that happen right at the top of our report as indeterminate. That means that we were not able to match that initial buckle swab to the DNA sample that was provided, which indicates that someone has manipulated that sample. So from there, we post those toxicology reports to our secure HIPAA compliant portal for you and your team to be able to view as soon as those results become available. That's it. That's DNA confirmed at home drug and alcohol testing. ShareTech wants to do drug testing differently. Last thing I want to add, I know when people hear about at home non-observed drug and alcohol testing, the light may go off and say, this sounds like a test we could cheat. I've brought with me a couple things today that we see people often try and evade detection with. Quick fix. This is a synthetic urine that people can substitute out a sample for. We detect that and flag it. We run a special test and flag that at the top of our report if we see synthetic urine. Detox and pills. These are the drinks that you can go buy and try and flush your system for. We have specific safeguards in place to ensure that any of these double flush tools will be flagged at the top of our report. Again, I am a person in long-term recovery from substance use disorder. This test was built by people in long-term recovery in conjunction with scientists, psychologists, clinicians, and engineers. We have put all the necessary safeguards in to really prevent adulteration of this sample. Trust me when I say it's much easier to just have the conversation with your team member about what's really going on. The DNA confirmed at home drug and alcohol test will be able to identify any drugs and alcohol in your system. 
If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to refer to the instructions that came as part of your package or the QR code, or go to our website or to your team and reach out to us. Our customer service is always available to answer any questions on shipping, results, or DNA confirmation process. Again, my name is Steve Moak, CEO and founder at ShareTech. Thank you. Look forward to hearing from you.